this is part one of how I created the product animation shown in the first few seconds. In the next few parts, I'll be discussing how I made the product model and how I built the environment for both scenes and some basic animations. But in this part, I'll be focusing more on how I made the model and how we use references to replicate the model in Blender. So now we want to create the overall shape of the perfume bottle. We'll start by deleting the objects in the viewport. And then we get our references. I bought two references from the internet. One is for the tracing of the bottle and the other one is for the lids. So I've added one reference as a plane. Uh, let's add the other reference in the UV editor. We search for the file. and open image now let's switch to material view so we can see the picture and let's rotate it okay i get it nice okay and now we can trace our cube to the shape of the of the perfume let's align it in edit mode so now we're gonna add some loop cuts and we're gonna align them with the uh, spikes in the shape of the perfume. And we'll do the same for the other sides. Okay, now we select the faces and let's insert a face. After inserting the faces, let's scale them up using uh, Alt S and make sure it's aligned with the reference picture. Uh, let's deselect the sides and let's scale the uh, individual faces on the Y axis so they're more uh, squarish. Okay, now to smooth things out, let's add a bevel and make sure you've applied the scale so if we take a look at the reference picture uh, you'll see that the bottle just has a little bit of curvature to it so we can go ahead and just uh, go to the cloth and let's apply some pressure this will uh, just create some pressure inside the object to expand it a little bit make sure to set the pressure to a low value like 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 go down to field weights in the settings of the cloth and let's decrease gravity to zero and to make sure that the bottom part of the perfume does not expand we'll uh, select it and go to the vertex groups assign it to a vertex and now let's rename it And in the cloth, we can just uh, assign it as a pin group. Uh, what a pin group does is that it pins it to one point, so the pressure doesn't affect this point. So when we play the simulation, let me rearrange the modifiers, uh, uh, the bottom part does not expand. So what we want is just a little bit of expansion. So yeah, this will be just fine. Now let's apply both the cloth and the bevel. Now select the top faces and scale them on the z-axis so they're leveled off uh, using proportional editing. Now that we're done with the base, we will add the Valentino logo on the front. Uh, we will use our references to identify where the logo is placed. As you can see, it's on these eight or uh, ten boxes. So let's select them. And after selecting, we're just gonna scale them on the X axis so they're flat. This will be where we add the logo. And let's extrude it just a little bit to give it depth. Now let's add a plane that's uh, rotated on the y-axis 
and scale it on the z-axis now let's unhide our reference to create the top part we're gonna add a circle and after adding the circle let's align it while aligning it doesn't have to be perfect but we're gonna try to make it as close as possible so we're gonna extrude up and sideways until we get the a similar shape now let's align it by copying it on the x-axis make sure to apply the scale and uh, add go to smooth I'm also gonna add a bevel to smooth out the rough edges So now let's uh, separate the top part so we can uh, get the atomizer part of the perfume. Let's uh, extrude upwards and fill. And for the bottom part, let's try to uh, trace the shape in the picture. Uh, we'll try to get as uh, close as possible. Uh, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate, just uh, as close as possible. Now that we're done with the sheep, let's uh, create the spray part. We'll add a loop cut and add a bevel. Let's select the middle faces. And let's insert a face. Make sure to subdivide them. Go into loop tools and then circle. We're going to extrude inside and scale it down. And extrude outside. Now we're like almost done with the whole perfume bottle. Now we're just gonna add a subdivision. Okay, now moving on, let's look at the textures. We're firstly gonna add a texture for the base. Let's add a glass modifier and connect it. And let's adjust the value to 1.477. Now to make the liquidy part of the bottle, let's copy the the stop area and let's shift D to duplicate and scale it down okay now let's take a look on how it looks in a rendered view let's go to cycles and GPU okay, let's add a plane and scoot it up align it let's now add just some lights to light up the scene let's move them around let's increase the intensity and let's copy the slides let's rotate it the other way and now yeah that's it we have a, a good lighting on the scene we can see how it looks like overall let's now change the material of the liquidy parts we're first gonna add an emission shader and let's connect it to a color ramp and a layer weight. This will add like to the edges of the liquid part, we'll add some emission to the edges, which will give us a really nice look in the final results. Now to combine these two nodes, we will use an add shader. Before adding the add shader, let's adjust it so it only emits lights at the edges, not the whole thing. Keep adjusting the values till we get our desired look. Seems good. Now let's add the add shader and select the other glass modifier. Let's apply this material to the outer one. We can just adjust the colors of the inner one to be green. Uh, select the inner one and change the color to green. We just need a lighter shade of green. Which, yeah, this works. Now let's apply the logo. Let's add the material, image texture. 
let's get the reference picture we used to trace going into front view let's uv unwrap this project from view and let's align it okay after this let's get the texture for the lid the atomizer part increase the metallic and roughness yep. so let's adjust the balance on the lid because it's not that good Oh, this hole has been causing me trouble in the bevel so I'm just gonna separate the, uh, separate this part and apply separate bevels to the body of it let's add the camera and adjust its location to like 45 degrees to the bottle we'll also adjust the focal length so we want a value above 100 ideally okay now let's add the little boxes on the atomizer we're gonna make a plane and then rotate it to align it with the atomizer part and let's add horizontal loop cuts then we're gonna go ahead and add a shrink wrap modifier so it sticks to the atomizer let's apply this and extrude it outwards and scale it down this eight times over 360 degrees so we're gonna rotate it 40 degrees each and press shift R uh, eight times to duplicate this action so on this part I'm just gonna add extra lights uh, on the logo and uh, on the background <laughs> 